Hi, I hope you are well. I want to thank the organizer for the opportunity of giving this talk. I also wish to all participants and organizer again <clears throat> to be in good health. Our talk has has named quadratics, cubics, and quartics. And <clears throat> in this talk, we study the action of special subgroups of GLN on quadratics in two, three, and four variables, cubics in two and three variables, and quartics in two and three variables, and their stabilizers. In the case n equal to two, three, and four, we study the acting belief groups of the of dimension three, six, and six respectively. That will be shown afterwards. We start with the canonical quadratic ax squared plus bxy plus cy <coughs> square. Our group is this matrix, but formally it will be understood as the isomorphism of this form. We start with A bigger than zero and B different of zero. We complete with perfect squares with this change of coordinates and the first step will get this quadratic and we finish with the last change of coordinates plus issues of this form and we get our canonical z square plus y square which stabilizer will be the one shown here and which is isomorphic to z2 cross z2 if a equal to zero and b different of zero we start with our quadratic of this form and we give the change of coordinates shown here and this will give yz its stabilizer will be of this form will be isomorphic to the multiplicative group of the complex numbers that will be the note afterwards always by c star finally we finish with a equal to zero and b equal to zero, and we get cy square. In this case, the change of coordinates is very simple, and this will give plus or minus y square. And the stabilizer will be the invertible matrix of this form, where alpha has to be different of zero, beta is an arbitrary complex number and then this group that is shown here will be isomorphic to c star cross c cross z2 but in this case i will put plus or minus one now we go to quadratics in three variables the acting group are matrices of three by three invertible matrices but again we understand the this matrices has the isomorphism given here we start with the canonical quadratic in three variables which is of this form and then we start with a b c different of zero and very important p different of plus or minus one after some change of coordinates we get to this quadratic that has pures in s y s w and z and if q is different of zero and r minus 2 pq different of zero we get our canonical 
quadratic and then the stabilizer will has eight elements which is an abelian group that is isomorphic to z2 cross z2 cross z2 in the case q equal to zero on the change of coordinates we get a square plus z square and observe that the only two variables two square two pure squares and the stabilizer will be the one given here, which is isomorphic to Z2 cross Z2 cross C star. This C star comes from gamma that has to be different of zero. If P equal to one and Q different of plus or minus one, the stabilizer will be this one, and this will be isomorphic to Z2 cross Z2, this two matrices plus or minus is a matrix of order two. In the very special case of A equal to zero and R different of plus or minus one, we get this quadratic and its stabilizer will be of this form that is a an abelian group of eight elements and this will be isomorphic to z2 cross z2 cross z2 since all the elements shown here have order two if r equal to one we get finally only one pure quadratic that is shown here and its stabilizer is the one shown here but eta is free here so <clears throat> this will be a one parameter group varying with eta as i mentioned before if p equal to q the stabilizer is of this form where delta and epsilon are free and we will get this this stabilizer that is shown here. The group that we use for the quadratics in four variables will be matrices of four by four with obviously non-zero determinant. That's why I we put this inequality, but the action again has to be seen of this form. The, we have made a mistake here, but it a comma here and a comma here. We start with the canonical quadratic in, in four variables. And the first case is all this different of zero, e different of plus or minus one, and k different of plus or minus one, we get our quadratic in pure L, M, N, and W, and the stabilizer is identity minus identity. The next case will be, all these summons will be zero, and the, the quadratic will be the, the pure quadratic, and the stabilizer is this one that is shown here that is obviously isomorphic to z2 cross z2 cross z2 cross z2 the case equal to one the stabilizer is identity minus identity and the fourth case will be now a pure quadratic but only in three variables and we are in four variables the stabilizer is this one and to for the reason that I mentioned that it only has three variables, three pure squares, we have to have a one parameter group. That is this one that obviously is isomorphic to Z2 cross Z2 cross Z2 cross C star. Now we return to the case A equal to zero since we started with a difference of zero and we get the fifth case that is the one shown here 
and the stabilizer is plus or minus the identity that is isomorphic to Z2. The sixth case is where all these summons will be zero, so we get this pure sum of three squares, and the stabilizer is the one that is shown here, that alpha has to be no zero and beta arbitrary, and that's why we get and look that all our stabilizers involve C2, C2 cross C2, and C2 cross C2 cross C2. The seventh case, we only have two quadrat two pure quadratics, and the general case here, and the stabilizer is Z2 cross C star cross Z2. And the eighth case will be if all these summons are zero and we get C square plus W square. And the stabilizer is the one shown here where alpha and delta are arbitrary complex non zero and beta and epsilon are arbitrary complex numbers. And that's why this will be isomorphic to this one shown here. And again, here appears C2 cross C2. The ninth case, we only have one quadrat pure quadratic. That is W square plus all these terms. And then the stabilizer again is Z2. The tenth case to finish is the pure W square. And the stabilizer is the one shown here, where alpha and delta and eta must be complex numbers different of zero and beta and epsilon are arbitrary complex numbers. We now study the cubics in two variables. Our group again is the one as the first given in the quadratics in two variables. And we have a pure irreducible factor to the cube and then if we get b different of zero or b equal to zero and a different of zero, the stabilizers are completely isomorphic and are of this form, c star cross z3. Observe that in our case of quadratics appear, appears z2 and now is appearing z3. For the case of a quadratic, of a linear to the square times a linear map where a d minus b c different of zero that means that they are linearly independent and again always we start with b different of zero after change of coordinate we get this canonical form and the stabilizer will be c3 again and if b equal to zero, and since b equal to zero, then a v is different of zero, and then this will be x squared y, and the stabilizer is c star again, as before. Now we get the case of three irreducible linear factors that they are linearly independent. And then the first case, again, one, b or d or f must be different of zero where we choose b different of zero and f different of zero again after change of coordinates we get this canonical form and the stabilizer again is c3 if b different of zero and f equal to zero this will be the canonical form and the stabilizer is amazingly a new finite group that is Z6, the case B equal to zero and D different of zero, this will be the, the a representative of the orbit. Observe that it's not the same as this one because we have changed <coughs> X and Y. And then here it comes, the Y stays, the X will be of this form, and then the third factor will be the same. And the stabilizer again is C3. Finally, we have the 
the one that you have an irreducible quadratic, b squared minus 4ac less than zero. And then again, if the factor of y e is different of zero, this will be the canonical form and the stabilizer will be z3. If e equal to zero, this will be the canonical or one element or uh, we call, I call it the, the, <clears throat> the canonical for this case of the orbit and the stabilizer will be z6. We now we study cubics in three variables and then the action has before is this group of matrices and we start with the canonical cubic in three variables. The first case is A, B, C, D different of zero. And then we made this trick that will get to, to our cubic. But we start with these inequalities that you, you will see that they appear quite strange afterwards, that is true, b cubed minus bg plus one different of zero. We obtain this, this map, and then if we calculate the, the stabilizer, we'll give z3. In the case that this is equal to zero, the stabilizer is the same as in one. If you add e equal to zero, Again, the stabilizer is the same. If you add, again, h equal to zero, the stabilizer is the same. And if you put and add j equal to zero, the stabilizer is the same, z3. But if after we ask k equal to zero, we have a surprise. This will be the stabilizer that is isomorphic to Z6 that already appeared for us, but if we get that if you put F equal to zero to all of the previous conditions, the stabilizer is a group of order 18, an abelian group, obviously, that will be isomorphic to Z2 cross Z3 cross Z3. And here is shown the stabilizer. And the case that we only have two pure cubes, the stabilizer is this one. And then you see that this row, in fact, you see that you have row zero and then zero row that can be interpreted as Z3. And then you have TU, but T has to be different of zero and U arbitrary complex. And then T in C star, and then we get obviously this isomorphism. Again, a equal to zero, but we start with BCF equal to zero. Again, appears Z3. And if you add B equal to zero and then F equal to zero and then J equal to zero and then H equal to zero and E equal to zero, for each of these cases, B equal to zero will be the same group as the above. If again, you put and you add F equal to zero, and again, if you add j equal to zero, et cetera, the stabilizer is the same. But when we put g equal to zero, we get that the stabilizer is isomorphic to z3 cross z3, and it's given here. So you see, all the groups are products of z3, of c3 cross c3, and c or c star. For the case k equal to zero, the stabilizer is the one shown here. And then will be again here, Z3 cross Z3 and C star. This will be one of our last cases of cubics in three variables. We have Z cube plus all these cubics and the stabilizer will be Z3. Here are we supposing at least one of these is different of zero, but if you put f equal to zero, then you will get the same stabilizer. If again you add j equal to zero, 
and again you add b equal to zero and then j equal to zero each case will be stabilizer the same as above but after all these zeros if you put e equal to zero and k equal to zero we have a stabilizer given here and again appear c3 c star sorry and c3 and after all these equalities you get and you put h equal to zero this will be the stabilizer that will be always as i said in this case products of z3 and products of c and c star now we start with our final section quartix in two variables and quartix in three variables then we start with the quartic in two variables and we do a b bigger than zero so we have this canonical quartix and we ask that one of these coefficients at least should be non-zero and again here as before that it was z2 and c3 now it's c4 because we are in a quartic and if these three are zero we get the pure x square plus y square and the stabilizer is a product of z4 plus z4 now next case will be if a equal to zero we get this this canonical quartic but only in one pure a quartic and the stabilizer will be z4 again but if you if you we are supposing that at least one of these three is different of zero and if all of them are zero the stabilizer again it appears at here a c star well we continue in in, in the case for quartics in three variables that so this will be the the last case and then again we ask a b c different of zero then we can put a equal to b equal to z equal to plus or minus one and then the stabilizer will be z4 has before and then if we have this inequality and this this inequality the stabilizer will be z4 and again if you add this equality and this equality and so on the stabilizer will be the same as in one that is z4 now if we have all these conditions but for m equal to zero and k equal to dp and this equality then the stabilizer will be this one and we have this new group z2 z12 and observe that this minor has order four and this minor one by one is of order six so the order of this has to be a, a, a divisor of four times six that is 24 but in fact is 12. if we get the pure r4 plus z4 again has before it has to be it has to appear a parameter and then again it appears z4 the case equal to zero and this is different of zero we get c4 we, we get this condition and after this one and and for each of these ones they all are stabilizers z4 but if all of these are zero and then you start with j equal to zero afterwards the stabilizer always will appear here a c star and it's a one parameter stabilizer the case a equal to six square after having the equalities given before here we have i we have mu with the condition mu cube equal to one that means that mu has order six and then again we appear c 12 cross c star that appears from this lambda and after all that you add k equal to zero this is the, the stabilizer c4 and then a product of c and c stars and to finish we consider now in three variables and we have a uh, only one quartic that is pure zip to the four and then 
we have if k equal to zero, the stabilizer is this, and if you add m equal to zero, the stabilizer is d4, and again, if you put n equal to zero, f equal to zero, and so on, the stabilizer is d4. If after all these equalities, you put e equal to zero, you have this quartic, and the stabilizer is a beautiful z4 cross c star since new is arbitrary complex, a non zero complex, sorry. And then we finish quartics in three variables. And I finish my talk. I wish to thank all the people that they are looking at this, at this talk that I hope that you like it. And I, I send you my regards from Mexico. And thank you very much for your attention.